Okay, it's a little windy. We're at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial on Griffiths International Airport. I tried using about a thousand dollar camera to uh, record this, but unfortunately, for some reason, a thousand dollar camera does not record very well at night. Uh, that's a hint, Nikon. Uh, they put in a new statue, a new monument, and it's right in front of you. I'm trying to walk slow so I don't shake, and I shake terribly. I was going to use my GoPro camera, but unfortunately I dropped that on the Mohawk River Trail a couple weeks ago, and I just noticed uh, it's got a big, gigantic, the lens of it is smashed. So, eh, I guess when you drop it going 12 miles an hour, uh, it doesn't fare very well. So, that's at the end of another camera for me. But that's the new monument right there. A soldier in front of the memorial. 1959 to 1975. I keep on thinking 1972. But it's 1975. Uh, this was unveiled earlier on Veterans Day. I tried to make it, but I was in one of my mood swings. And uh, I just stayed home. But that's a beautiful sculpture. I mean, this, this memorial right here deserves to be on every tourist brochure of Oneida County, as well as New York State. But it probably won't be. But it deserves to be. 450 million dollars New York State is pouring into tourism. That's 300 million too much because that money could actually be used for feeding the homeless, feeding the veterans, giving veterans better care, uh, homes for veterans, first responders, nurses, homeless people, clothing for homeless people and veterans. But I guess New York State feels that it's got to dump 300 million in the tourism. And I'll see if I can't shine a light on in a minute here. That's a beautiful sculpture, though. Beautiful. I have no idea who did it. I'll have to do my homework on it, but whoever made the sculpture did a marvelous job. Close up the face job. here. I got my little light on here. Look at the detail. I mean, that's really good. I mean, I, I, I'd give this sculpture. <laughs> I think the city should give the sculpture some bonus money. I mean, wow, that's fantastic. You're going to see my shadow in a minute here. <laughs> This is pretty cool. This is the other side. This is the uh, left side. Excuse me, the right side. God, I can't even tell my directions. And notice this on the helmet. <laughs> Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> I mean, wow. Right down to the boots. Got the uh, cargo pants on. That's a beautiful job. Got the uh, M16. Wow. That is really beautiful. I mean, this really deserves to be on tourist brochures. And this is the monument in front of the soldier. We'll call him the unknown soldier. And this is how you respect a fallen soldier in the field of combat. 
even today. And I don't know where this began, maybe World War II, maybe long before World War II, uh, World War I. Uh, again, I got to do my homework on it. But all this is privately funded. None of this is funded by the state of New York, nor the federal government. Thank God. I mean, when the government says, hi, we're here to help, warning. And that's the that's the uh, Huey Hogg helicopter. In memory of and we'll all Vietnam veterans. From the RFA class of 1965, which I'm sure saw a lot of uh, graduates going off to Vietnam, dedicated September 12th, 2021. And yeah, it is really windy out. This is the Huey, the famous Huey. I've done a couple videos on this already. If you want to look through my channels, uh, I'll try and remember and make the search really easy. Uh, I'll stick it on my home page uh, so you don't have to browse through 400 videos looking for it. But this was also put up this year, which I'm really happy about. And I believe uh, the chopper was, uh, the Huey Hog was done. Uh, it was uh, remodeled th through the MV Mohawk Valley Community College Aviation and Maintenance Program. And they did a fantastic job. We got a storm coming. That's why it's windy. But like I said, I've done videos of this chopper many times. I always salute it every time I go by it. I don't know why, I just do. It's reaction. But that's the Huey. What impresses me is, uh, this is a Huey Hog of the Sea Wolves U.S. Navy Squadron. Flew over 130,000 hours of combat, performed 1,530 medical evacuations. The squadron also delivered over 37,000 passengers and 1 million pounds of cargo. And the Sea Wolf Squadron, I believe, is a, the most decorated uh, Navy squadron in Vietnam. Uh, I mean, a helicopter squadron of all things. Shows you how important helicopters are. And let's not forget about the benefactors. Uh, James J. Fergal. U.S. Army Retired 2nd Infantry Division, Chemical Section, Agent Orange, and the Griffin Charitable Foundation, dedicated to the And I didn't notice this one before. Military women died in Vietnam and one was killed in combat. First Lieutenant Sharon Ann Lane. Approximately 11,000 women, civilians, and military served. 90% of those were nurses. 90%. U.S. Army, 4,675. U.S. Navy, 423 women. U.S. Air Force, 771 women. And U.S. Marine Corps, 36 women. Today, for the U.S. Marine Corps, it would be uh, thousands of women, which is a good thing because women make excellent soldiers. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> and the importance of Agent Orange dioxin.
actually the harm that Agent Orange Dioxin has done. This is a bench you can sit on and reminisce. You can talk about Beijing Biden. And right